As long as we have had a nation and as long as we have had an army, infectious diseases have uh, threatened the U.S. force, both at home and abroad. Zika is a flavivirus. It is transmitted uh, primarily by Aedes mosquitoes. Zika is in the same family as other viruses like dengue and yellow fever, West Nile virus and Japanese encephalitis. Walter Reed is the one who proved that yellow fever was transmitted by a mosquito. So researching flaviviruses is in our DNA. We've been doing it over a century, which has put us in a good position to be able to try and help the U.S. government tackle the Zika issue. The Walter Reed Army Institute of Research, also known as RARE, has been around since 1893 and we are the premier Army biomedical research laboratory. One of the great strengths of RARE is its overseas laboratories. Global outreach is a powerful asset to Army medicine because we're able to work on diseases where they actually occur and where those diseases actually could influence our warfighters in terms of deployments. One of the activities that goes on uh, in these overseas locations is something we call uh, biosurveillance. And so it is the RARE's job to identify and anticipate what those threats are going to be and then to develop countermeasures to either eliminate or mitigate those threats. The insectary provides a huge number of insect colonies that allow us to look at how different pathogens interact with the insects that transmit them. This is the Walter Reed Biosystematics Unit. My job as an Army entomologist is to protect soldiers by giving commanders the information they need to reduce the risk from disease-carrying insects. The pilot bioproduction facility is where we actually manufacture the vaccines that ultimately get tested in the human trials that we do. And that's a very unique capability that we have that a lot of organizations do not have, and it allows us to move very fast. A vaccine to go from concept to actually having a product that is licensed and available for general use can take up to 10 years and cost up to a billion dollars. And clearly in the face of a public health emergency, uh, like we saw with Ebola and like we're seeing now with Zika, that's not acceptable. You could call us a one-stop shop in that we're able to conceptualize vaccine candidates, we're able to make prototypes, we're able to do basic science experiments, we're able to produce our own vaccines that can actually go then into people uh, in initial safety experiments. Working in Army medicine, soldier health really is global health. At the same time that we are protecting our warfighters that are going into harm's way, we're also working on diseases that are critical to global health. <laughs>